Yasuke here, so some new leaked data mined information from Riot might just be what definitively proves that Loser's Q exists, or more specifically, some type of engagement-based matchmaking, which is more or less having some kind of measurements on matchmaking that aren't just trying to pair equal teams of equal skill. And that's what Riot has always defended that they do, but this new information shows that that might not be the case that they might be skewing matchmaking for something else other than having fair games. And so to roughly explain what engagement-based matchmaking is, is if you can skew matchmaking in certain ways, you can make it more likely that players will play the game more. So, for example, they can show that if you lose your third game of the day, you're more likely to play a fourth. Whereas if you lose that, if you win that third game, then you're probably going to quit there. So, uh... There's been a lot of studies on this that are of pretty low scope, but show that there is a different level of churn risk, so of players just dropping the game, depending on how their win losses or uh, like even games go. So uh, to more explicitly kind of say it is that there's a lot of incentive for Riot to have matchmaking be something that isn't just creating fair games. Which is what we all hypothetically want is to play on that kind of equal level playing field. But the new information uh, that is coming out is that uh, this is some information that Riot uh, requests from the client that somebody kind of reverse engineered to find. In that you are autofill protected from going on a win streak. And so that more or less means that it, like if you're on a win streak, you are not going to get autofilled. And... Uh, this guy had it on this account, which is more like regular wins losses, but then he also showed that on an account that had 21 wins that never got autofilled in those 21 games, that this false right here was true. And he goes over his entire process. I can link all of the uh, more specifics that he goes in down below. And so that is just a clear-cut example of Riot's own, like, data information that they're not keeping secret enough that shows that there is something else in matchmaking that isn't just giving you a fair game. Even if it's something as small of giving you autofill protection on a win streak, that is enough to skew matchmaking. And that's just proof that that is something that Riot has never talked about before, but they're still going to claim that the only thing they care about is MMR, that they've stated over and over and over again. So... This is the uh, rioter's response to this, in that it shows the autofill messages, uh, which is sort of disproven by the other account that the guy showed. And this rioter who's responding to it, this guy is just mega incompetent in a lot of ways that I'll show on later, but he doesn't actually know what this guy is talking about. So he's giving a response on something that he's not actually fully looked into. So it's really, really hard to trust this guy, especially when you look at some of the information that I'm gonna show later on this. Um, but yeah, so this guy is saying that if this was matchmaking related, then it wouldn't show you the information client side. Uh, the problem with that is that Riot, as you can see with the recent leaks of, um, all of the information of the game being, uh, retrieved through a social hack, that Riot might just not be super great at OPSEC, which is more or less keeping information secure in-house, and it's really, really common in a lot of these tech companies that just have so many different moving pieces and a lot of rotating people that you're going to often have a lot of data that can show up on the front end that isn't supposed to be there. And this guy had to, like, uh, like decrypt some information that Riot sent and then uncompress it to get this more clear information. So it's just pretty clear that this is something that is... Uh, very possible that Riot just accidentally leaked it. And this kind of shows that this has been Riot's motto the entire time, that they constantly say that League does not use engagement-based matchmaking. Uh, one of the things that I said to this is that every single, every single Tencent game uses engagement-based matchmaking. League is the only Riot, or the only Tencent game where this is not confirmed. And Riot's blatantly lied straight to your faces about so many things in the past. If you guys remember, there was the item mythic diversity, where Riot's goals, when they made the new mythic system for items, they said, 
hey, we want people to be able to build more and more items. And they straight up, like, fabricated the data. And it was only until they got, like, provably proven wrong uh, that they actually uh, came out and sort of been like, oh, whoopsies. And that's the thing is that so many times they get proven to be lying on things that can actually be uh, determined from outside sources. The problem with matchmaking is that we don't actually have the data and the actual algorithm publicly available. So there's no way to prove that this guy is not lying. And rioters always lie. They always lie to you every single time they can because there's no reason for them not to. Because uh, a lot of people will just buy what they say, like hook, line, and sinker, you know? Um, as an example, right here, this same rioter, right? The same rioter was the one that posted this, which, uh, if you guys don't know, at the start of the ranked season, they didn't announce the season start until a week before. And they said that the season started on the 10th. So every single person, every single content creator who's trying to grind on the first day, we all cleared our schedules for the 10th. And we expected, hey, we're not going to be playing, or we are going to be starting the season on the 10th. And then the day before, on the 9th, uh, like at the late end of the 9th, they uh, released the actual start times, which show that in every single local region, it starts on the 11th. And this is just such a basic, like, lie, more or less, that is completely ruining everybody's schedules. And it's honestly just unacceptable. And the problem is, not a single rider even admitted that there was anything wrong or took any accountability for anything. Every single person understood that ranked started on the 10th. And then all of a sudden it starts on the 11th. Even Riot's own social media posts and posts in the client said uh, on the 9th, hey, this new season is starting in 12 hours. And it wasn't starting until 36 hours later because, you know, there's just a little bit of incompetency in Riot that they're not willing to actually own up to. And this is less than a month ago. This same Rioter already been caught uh, lying. So, like, there's not really any reason to trust this guy's word. And this right here, again, stating that they don't use engagement-based matchmaking. So there's not only the other leak earlier uh, that just spawned earlier, uh, that I just showed earlier. There is also patents from Riot of them having a sort of matchmaking system that's based on player behavior. And so more or less, they will accumulate data from you as a player, what your trends are, what you do, like how positive are you? Are you more likely to be negative after a loss streak? Like all of these kinds of data, like how you click your mouses, does your APM go down uh, the more games that you play? Like there's so much of this data that is collected by Riot uh, and is like, it's something that is talked about a lot when they do like psychology conferences and stuff. So they will match players potentially based on compatible personality scores. And what that could basically mean is that these players, it'd be really good if these five set of players loses right now. So they're all also kind of tilted right now. So it's probably going to be better to put all of the losers on this team and all of the winners on this team. There are uh, algorithms that independent people have created that can determine the winner and loser, uh, the winning and losing teams based on only looking at the players, not the draft. So if you take this set of five players on this day and this set of five players on this day, you can determine with an 80% likelihood which team is going to win. And that's just information that people can figure out publicly. And that's not even with all of the private information that Riot has that we don't have access to. So, uh, yeah, using uh, data from... Uh, behavior and stuff to impact matchmaking, partially. Uh, this is how it'll roughly work, is that... So, you queue up for a game. Monitor for match request. Match request received. Curie... Uh, so, look up behavioral data from a user's profile database. Create players' matches for a game session based at least in part on curated uh, behavioral data. 
And what that means by in part is that it does take your MMR, and that, like it's not going to place a gold with a challenger. So it'll take a little bit of skill, and then also put in your uh, behavioral and personality data on top of that. And then it'll put you in game based on that. And uh, I couldn't find a right specific response to this, but more or less, they basically just said, hey, this is when we put toxic players to force them into normal games. The problem is, is that that is not at all within the scope of what this patent from Riot actually is. Also, you know, Jeffrey Lin, that's a character in this patent. And this is also from 2017. Um, so that is not at all within the scope of what the patent says. And there's no reason to actually trust Riot at all with that. That they're only using it for... The, the scope of that patent is 100%. And the... Prisoner's Island in Normals is only 1% of using all of what the patent actually shows. And this is it again, uh, create a, a first pool of players based on skill level or experience, and then match players from that pool based at least on behavioral data. Um, there's so much of them talking about that and going into that and patenting it. There's no reason to believe that they wouldn't be using the things that they patented. Um, so this guy's... Uh, with the response to the data is saying that, hey, it's just to show, oh, hey, you've been autofilled. Once again, disproven by the account that the guy had that was not autofilled in 21 games on a win streak. Um, no real reason to believe this guy. And so this is an example of a website, uh, League of Graphs. This website, kind of useful in this aspect that will show you your own player behavior patterns. And this is just something that a third-party website independently aggregated based on the publicly available data. This isn't going over all of the data that Riot has, but for example, on my third game of my sessions on this smurf that I have, I have a really low win rate. I have a 30% win rate on my third game of the day. And it's not until my later sessions in which I have those like really, really high win rates. And then game rate duration. If it goes long, I'm really, really likely to win. And then so you could also pair me with people who often play scaling champions if you wanted to get me in one of those games that go a little bit uh, longer or in this 35 uh, minute win rate spike. And then you'll also see that like during different times of the day, I'm way more likely to win than others. So this is all data that Riot can absolutely use to skew your matchmaking. And uh, a lot of people just kind of defend Riot because they say, hey, we don't use engagement based matchmaking that it's just all kind of a conspiracy. And uh, writer, this the same writer responded to it, basically just saying that, yeah, they only use uh, matchmaking for this. And I, I swear, man, go over this slightly, but every single time somebody vehemently argues and defends the idea of matchmaking being completely fair, they always look like this, man. This is the writer. Uh, don't use engagement-based matchmaking. And the people who could just constantly, constantly argue it. They all look like this, man. They all look just incredibly... Incredibly like this, man. But yeah, right? Almost guaranteed. Use your matchmaking. And that's not to say... That's not to say that they make it impossible for you to climb. It's just that within the range of your general climbing, your general experience, they're going to want to optimize it to where you play the most. That is the ultimate thing that they care about. Uh, th yeah, but yeah. The people who say, hey, engagement-based matchmaking isn't real because Riot said so, even though they have patents that are explicitly stating that, uh, they're all just saying it's a conspiracy theory. And it all kind of looks like the people who just say that, like, it's just believing everything they're ever told about anything. Um, all with the same look. But yeah, so, more or less... Uh, loser's queue and winner's queue is the idea of you are going into this loser's queue, which is going to lower your rank. And then you'll really, really want to get that rank back up. So you'll play 30 more games instead of playing uh, 10 if you were just hovering at a different rank. And that doesn't overall affect your climbing on a longer scale, but on the shorter scale of like uh, in a specific session. You're being psychologically manipulated, which is something that Riot does a lot. That Riot has, in their behavior system, said that we are using our behavior system to make people...
people better humans so that we can better the world. And that's why you get things like snitch cards where it's like, you report somebody and you get a, a feel-good sticker for it. Uh, and Riot has publicly released their information, or rather, they've released their information to every kind of psychology lab or university or social media company that wants to use your player behavior data to change their algorithms to make it more likely for you to do this or do that. And so Riot's very clearly, uh, publicly been willing to manipulate you psychologically, and no reason to believe that it's not a matchmaking. So let me know what you guys think. Um, comment down below. If you guys have any thoughts on this, let's see what's going on. But yeah, this is uh, pretty pretty definitive information, and the rioter, rioter response shows that this guy hasn't even actually looked in depth into what the claims are, and doesn't actually know the systems that are being talked about. So, really kind of discerning that uh, we are all being psychologically manipulated uh, with Riot Games in their matchmaking. Which, every player who's ever played this game for a long time has already kind of felt, uh, intuitively. And it's only the people who are vehemently against any conspiracy theory possibly existing that are the only ones who are vehemently uh, saying that, hey, ah, Loser's Q isn't real. Riot said so. Riot said so, bros. And if Riot says so, Riot is God. Riot is Lord. Uh, that's more or less the way that these people think. So let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. See you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. And good night.